Hi, this is Rupal Maralkar. I work for TCS and I have 15 years of experience in software implementation and solution development. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to TechGeek webinar series, our endeavor to empower techies. We believe that sharing of knowledge is the key to enhance our skills and grow us as professionals. With this principle in mind, we have initiated a series of webinars conducted by industry experts to give you all a crisp insight of various domains. The topic of today's session is real-time capital market surveillance using IBM Infos Infosphere streams. Our guest speaker today is Ms. Rupal Madol Madolkar. Corporate TEG IBM IM brand lead at Tata Consultancy Services. Rupal has 15 years of experience in software implementation and solution development and currently she leads the IBM Information Management brand as part of Technology Excellence Group within TCS. She has been instrumental in championing solutions on IBM IM platform and extending the product solutioning capabilities with service, industry and technology solutions. So without further delay, I introduce you all to our guest speaker. Over to you, Ms. Rupal. Hello, everybody. Thank you for taking time on this afternoon to um, uh, attend the session. Uh, this is a session of a lot of... Hello, everybody. Thank you for taking time to attend the session. Uh, uh, and what today will be speaking on is a topic of very much interest, that is big data, which is a buzzword of the industry, and also real-time big data, which is the future of the industry. So uh, what, uh, as a part of TCS, we have uh, uh, made a real-time capital market surveillance solution, uh, the overview of which uh, I'm going to provide. The importance of real-time data analysis has been felt since early 90s and this processing of streaming data from either sensors, telecom switches or web is the demand of the industries worldwide. Quicker detection uh, is the is needed especially for fraudulent like activities in a financial system and capital market surveillance it can be performed by using streaming input of latest trading transactions without being stored it would be beneficial to regulatory authorities and the stock exchanges. So what we are presenting here in the solution is stream processing using a DSMS, which is InfoSphere Streams. And we uh, will show how effective it can be in terms of performance and latencies uh, for real-time capital market surveillance using IBM InfoSphere Streams. So I'll start off with an introduction to CP and real-time analytics just so that everybody is on the base play. So first one, let me introduce to a business event. A business event is any event which is meaningful for conducting commercial, industrial, government, or trade activities like customer order for uh, order processing system, bank payment, detecting signs of attempted fraud for the capital market surveillance solution, and a lot of other things. So. Uh, the event is of prime importance to um, uh, to the um, industry and the client. And when a series of events come come in as a stream, it is called a data data stream, which is a sequence of tuples, which are not nothing but a time uh, time stamped uh, event. So event data with a time stamp is a tuple, and an unbounded series of tuples is a data stream. So with that, I go ahead to uh, seeing how we process these events. So uh, complex event, uh, event is an abstraction of a set of member events which makes business sense to a uh, customer, which summarizes and represents member events with a linearly ordered sequence of tuples, which is data, data plus timestamp. Now there are two things, two uh, prominent things which we can do to achieve real-time ultra-low latency event stream processing. Uh, one is the complex event processing which does analysis on discrete data. It's 
it's rules based and it mostly handles structured data types and its data rates are pretty modest. But enter the event stream processing. Analytics is done on continuous data streams. It is able to scale up to complex analytics and with all kinds of data and also scale up for computational intensity. Um, now coming to the real time uh, 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 real time analytics and event streaming. Uh, streaming applications pose a very new and interesting challenges for data management systems. Such application domains require queries to be evaluated continuously as opposed to the one time evaluation of a query for traditional applications. Uh, the diagram shows how the traditional and the non-traditional, which is the in-stream analytics works. Here the sta query is uh, stationary in case of real-time analytics and the data is moving. Whereas in the traditional analytics, your data is stationary and your queries change. That is the basic difference between a traditional uh, data management system and a real-time analytical processing system. So with this uh, sets up the base for the real, uh, event streaming engines which have come into play in the market. So first let us see what is the need for an in-motion processing. Uh, in -motion processing. So suppose we have a retailer which wants to do a near real-time uh, 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 near real-time uh, transaction. If it's a traditional way we do it, it will just go to the warehouse it will scan through the past transactions of the customer and it will scan through the current uh, promotions uh, which uh, the chain is offering and come up with a cross in around 20 seconds. But with the current um, impatience which has gone with the customers and a lot of competition around, what we uh, might want to do, what the retail chain might want to do is extend this particular decision on a lot of data maybe live or unstructured data like uh, weather, so uh, suppose it's going to be rainy in the next uh, few days, we would like to recommend the rainy, rain related product like food cream, etc. Then depending on how, uh, what is, uh, in, uh, how the traffic is, we can recommend something from the music side of things. So it all depends on a lot of live data coming in from different unstructured sources which were not even considered as sources earlier. But it it increases the customer experience. So this is where the stream processing engine comes into picture where live data is taken along with your traditional data like data warehouse and it is processed in less than five seconds and it gets back to you in time to offer it to the customer. So that is what that is how competitive the world is getting. So lots of vendors are joining this stream processing uh, market from pure place EP vendors to database systems to enterprise software vendors to business intelligence vendors. What we have chosen is the IBM Infosphere Streams product, which is uh, uh, IBM's commercial product, which provides execution platform and services for user developed applications. Uh, it ingests uh, applications ingest, filter, analyze and correlate potentially massive volumes of continuous data streams. It also supports high volume structured and unstructured streaming data sources such as images, audio, video uh, and a lot of other sensor data, batch swipe, etc. So, um, the uh, limitation of this or other, it, ca it has to be installed on the Linux operating system and it does all sorts of streams uh, processing using a language called the stream processing language. So it is a platform for in motion analytics for you, uh, large volumes of data, variety, velocity and complex analytics and agility. So it comes uh, with uh, Agile development environment, which is the Eclipse based ID stream live graph to see how your application is flowing through and a debugger too. Also, there is a distributed runtime application which can, uh, which has infinite band support. And the most important uh, part of this particular product is uh, 
the ease of use and the toolkits and the adapters, ready toolkits and the adapters which it gives. So it gives database, mining, big data with the new thing coming in which is HDFS and big insights integrity and text analytics. It supports all kinds of databases like DB2, Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL. So it is a ready to use platform and easy to develop platform which is missing in a lot of other competitor products which is why uh, the streams product was chosen for this particular solution. Uh, just to give you an overview of the streams programming model and how it uses the efficiencies of the multiple cores. Uh, it can be deployed on a, uh, on a commodity hardware like laptop blades or high performance clusters. And what the stream programming model does is it converts it into efficient compilation to run on, run and utilize the hardware to the maximum and achieve low level, low second, microsecond latencies. So uh, we take an example where there's an input, then we write the analytical programs which will perform functions on the input. And, um, and then we come up with the output. The output. So this is how we define the program. And what uh, it does, it the compilation, it will perform a platform optimized uh, compilation and the optimizing scheduler assigns the jobs to various hosts to various hosts and continually manages resource allocation dynamic uh, uh, host and job allocation so new jobs work with existing jobs as and when new uh, hosts and uh, computers are added so there is totally transparent uh, compilation uh, done. So you, you can actually add the, the blades and the uh, commodity hardware without affecting the current processing. So the PEs on the uh, busy host can be moved manually by the streams administrator and the processing element failing on one host can be moved automatically to another and the communications can be automatically rerouted. So this is the beauty of the platform which utilizes the hardware to the maximum with uh, various features like core pinning and platform optimized compilation. And now we are with this background of CP and InfoSphere streams, I think we are ready to dive into the solution which is a real time capital market surveillance solution. Uh, we felt the need because uh, the rate at which the capital market transactions are generated is extremely fast, often going up to more than a million messages per second. Uh, traditional approaches of storing the data in a data warehouse and then processing it via statistical analysis and data mining is often inadequate because the data rates are very, very fast. So the amount of data accumulated and analyzed is also very, very high. So the problem of surveillance of fraud detection on streaming market feeds can be addressed through the efficient use of the stream processing engines. So capital markets and surveillance, what it entails. Uh, uh, in a capital market, investors and all sorts of market participants expect a transparent, influence-free open market for trading stocks, options, commodities. The responsibility to ensure that the above uh, happens lies on the exchanges where the instruments are traded. Now these particular authorities are guided as per the laws of the land. But there is a history of market manipulation because since the inception of these kinds of markets there has been newer ways being found by market manipulators. So capital market surveillance has become the highest priority activity for the exchanges and regulatory authorities. So in modern world, especially in the modern world, where all financial transactions happen electronically, either through web-based systems, algorithmic trading, so what, has, what, what this has enabled is many, many people to perform trading in the capital market. As a result, huge amount of data gets generated from various sources, and the rate of generation 
of the data streams is very very high. Therefore, it's high volume, high velocity. Uh, it is, there's a pressing demand to detect market manipulations by identifying as the anomalies as fast as possible to avoid losses and faith in the markets. So we want fraud detection in a near real time mode. On the other hand, while the technical algorithms for such detections are available for the authorities, but there is a constraint for executing them in stream and real time data. And the DSMS platform or the uh, stream processing engine is an answer to this particular problem, real time problem of the market. Here I have just listed a few of the um, manipulative practice which are prevalent. So um, if we see how a monitoring or trading activity in an exchange is done, uh, it basically consists of a system, a um, uh, stream processing engine that takes as input all the orders that are being placed by market participants. These, these orders uh, are executed or retained depending on the policy and other track, uh, there is one track which executes the order and there is another track which cancels the order. The output of these two tracks are then uh, put into a stream call the executed, uh, executed order stream or the cancel order stream. And these two streams are then input to a correlation engine that matches the executed and the canceled order from the same participant and accumulated the matched values for specific time windows, say x days or y hours. And whenever the ratio say of total and cancel to total and executed exceeds a particular threshold, an alert is generated. So basically it is uh, doing things offline. But what we are doing is we are trying to propose a solution which will do the same thing in in-stream. So it's in-stream analytics at microsecond level latencies and at high performance. So um, there are multiple rule-based engines which we have evaluated and the chosen platform was IBM InfoSphere Stream. And we integrated it with Cognos uh, real-time monitoring for real-time dashboarding and continuous monitoring. Also, uh, automated alerting. See, the overall solution approach was we had the input stream of transaction data, input stream of other related data from the markets. Then the input was also from the historical database of the transactions. And the stream the engine which processed this manipulative practices real time as the data is flowing in. We had complex queries written for the scenario selected and the InfoSphere streams processed it and it gave alerts or it gave real time dashboards. The development platform uh, was an Intel based server with uh, quad core uh, with Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux 5.4 the latest version of streams 2.0.04 and um, database was open source MySQL with two reporting tools explored, JNU plot and Cognos RTM. See, the, for, we picked up for the initial scenarios uh, the most commonly uh, used manipulative practices uh, which are listed here. The long gap with last traded date anomaly in average trade price, anomaly with respect to normal parameters, high-low variation, price variation, consecutive trade price variation. So these are the ones which uh, are the ones which uh, we had um, done initially and on top of that we added, uh, added multiple scenarios from the different market uh, uh, clients. Which, uh, so the solution was customized as for the market clients. So this is an example which I had said where there are multiple logins coming in and multiple people placing orders at the same time, executing the order, some people cancelling the order. So when the maximum order withdrawal for a particular uh, customer exceeds a threshold, that's when we revoke that customer, we immediately alert the capital market or the exchange saying that there is a fraudulent activity going on and that arrests that particular activity right in time 
to avoid any further uh, mischief. So some of the results uh, which were um, uh, which were um, recorded is it was for the time for infosphere streams uh, and this particular solution is was for a tuple for record was done within 2.3 to 8 microseconds. So we had multiple uh, found out that uh, about 2.38 million transactions were uh, processed uh, within 20, sec 20 microseconds. So it is a very, very high latency, uh, uh, high uh, low latency uh, result, and this is what is the need of the hour, which is a real-time analytics. So from the statistics uh, which are presented, we uh, concluded that 99% of the stream travels were processed within 10 microseconds. So uh, some of the delays observed were due to uh, maybe the Linux process was running and uh, slowing down the process, but overall it was each and every tuple was processed within 10 microseconds. Uh, this gives you the graphical representation and the, the with the GNU plot and the Cognos real time. Uh, the first one gives the price variation related alerts and the for the for two stocks and the other one gives you points where the alerts are generated. These are the other additional scenarios we are working on with the client. And the solution can be customized as per the client requirements and the market requirements as they change. So that is the uh, real-time capital market surveillance solution. Uh, I will open it for questions. Uh, Rupal, I have assigned you a few questions. Can you please open your questions pane and start answering them? Yes. Uh, the first question is from Nishantha. Uh, it is this stream processing language. Is it the native compilation like C++ or Java, or is it on top of these languages? Um, it has its own native compilation like C++ or Java, but there is a facility available for user-defined operators to be defined in C++ and Java and deployed on this particular platform as an operator. So Nisanta, does that answer your question? Uh, 
I'll go on to the second question, which is again from Nishan Sa. How long can you go back to check on these scenarios? Say for front running, what is the time window, forward and backward that you can monitor? And how does the re hardware requirement vary? So uh, depending on the data capacity and the re uh, performance that you want, you will have to tune it to a particular thing. Depending on the business requirement, uh, if the window length is higher, then you might have to adjust your cores and increase your hardware performance better. So it is a tuning um, exercise which you will have to do to get the optimal business requirement coverage and the performance too. Going on to the third question, where is this product being used? Uh, this product is being used in multiple places. Um, IBM uh, has deployed it um, in uh, IBM Infosphere Streams in Sweden for uh, traffic control um, and Stockholm. Uh, it's also using it for um, neonatal monitoring where lots of inputs are coming uh, from um, Lots of inputs are coming from uh, the uh, medical uh, devices to detect, uh, uh, detect instantaneously if any of the combinations of these medical device inputs are uh, giving a problem. Mm, I've got two more questions. Um, I'll go to the next one uh, from Vinay Rai. Uh, I would like to know a little more about the architecture of the product. Uh, can you depict it using some diagram? Uh, Vinay, if you, uh, if you uh, drop a mail uh, to uh, uh, Mohini, I will send you the slides offline. Then mm, to the next question which is, uh, do you see any other factors affect in designing the capital market surveillance software? Um, this is a domain question. Um, I think uh, I, will, uh, I will respond to it after consulting with my domain team who is working on the next level of things for capital market surveillance. Um, next question is, how do you ensure microsecond latency? Uh, I presume all processing is in memory, so how do you ensure each instance sees the same data? It is in memory and it is a shared pool of memory, which it refers to as the streaming happens. Each tuple is processed and compared with multiple tuples going across multiple operators. Uh, competitive products uh, that were evaluated, uh, we did evaluate it with a couple of open source products and one of them was S4. So we did it with S4 and um, uh, the performance of InfoSphere streams was three times better and also the usability was much, much better. Uh, going on to the next question from Bhaskar Kumar. Uh, due to multiplicity of sources, 
for data is it really real time or still has a small lag in presentation uh, the processing is very very near near real time as I said uh, about 2.38 million transactions are done in 20 seconds so it is huge it's very very near real time in the presentation layer might be the lag might be introduced due to the limitations of the presentation software but if it just pure alert thing it can be near real time Uh, it might need tuning, core pinning, and some of the additional performance tuning uh, to be done on the hardware and the uh, SPL side of things. But the performance has been excellent. Well, thanks for the insightful presentation, Ms. Rupal. Thank you so much for conducting this webinar. It was indeed a great session. I would also like to thank all our participants for the support in making this webinar a success. The recording of the webinar will be available on techgeek.com by tomorrow. Thank you all. Have a great evening. Thanks, everybody.